Hi guys, and welcome back to the park. I apologize for my screaming yesterday. I will try to keep it down this episode. I was informed by my housemate, Jules Sender, that she could hear me downstairs. <laughs> so I'll try to be more quiet this time. Sorry, Jules. Um, so yeah, yesterday we took the Octotron, and we saw a very creepy apparition. I don't know what it was. It had a lot of teeth, and it was wearing a very big hat. And um, so now let's see what else waits for us in the park. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. Okay. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. What? I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing, and I thought, <laughs> "Is that it?" Oh no! We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. They shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Oh gee! So I've been thinking, we didn't actually see Talum go in there. I'm not entirely sure if he is. I mean, we saw something. We saw the figure of a child, but I'm not entirely sure if it was Callum. That might be like a big reveal in the end that Callum is actually still in the car and... I mean, the guy just said, I think I saw your son go into the park. We don't know if he actually did. I can practically smell the jump scare. I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around and so most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping. And most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve? See? Even I'm starting to call him Chad and I went to school with the guy. It's that goddamn suit. In the beginning it was a laugh. Steve the local luscious chap, the chipmunk, child-friendly mascot at Atlantic Island Park. Lock up your daughters and all of that. But the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first it was little things like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. Well yeah, that's weird. Furry! Sorry, I'm kink shaming. <laughs> but then I saw him at Susie's diner, still wearing it. It wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained, discreetly, to park management about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day, but nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by, and apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him puking up in the gutter outside the uh, sick oil station. The handwriting is often very difficult to read because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. Those shapes he makes in the ice, though? They give me the creeps. Steve came by the booth today, lucky me, and he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up, eye-fucking me, whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor, and when he came by, chat, Steve wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Signed by Laura Hanman. That sounds to me like Steve might be dead inside that costume. Just a thought. Yuck. Uh, I'm scared that he's gonna be there if I turn around. Ah! Oh god! <laughs> There was a jump scare coming! I knew it! But it still scared the living crap out of me, hello? There is... A girl? Okay, uh, can I, I don't think I can go in there. Oh god, yes I can. Or no, I can't. No, I can't. It's closed. Shite. Oh my god, that is so creepy. Ooh. Oh my 
my god. Why am I even playing this game? <laughs> I'm such a wuss! <laughs> Hello, creepy statue. The music is so chill and relaxing, and here I am just like, ah, please don't move. Please don't move. Please don't move. Thank you for not moving. Oh, what's that? Bumper cars! <sighs> oh, God. <sighs> Constant crashes in 80s music. Guess it floats someone's boat. You know we're gonna do it. We have to. Because completionist. Where is the entrance? Is that the entrance or is that the entrance? Um, I don't know. I think that might be the entrance. Oop, not that way though. That way? I am afraid. I am very afraid. Why? Why are we doing this? Why am I doing this to myself? I am scared. So scared. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hear weird noises. I hear very weird noises. <laughs> I do not like. I do not like. If you put if you'd put me on a heart monitor right now, it would be like <laughs> <laughs> Examine device. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. I'm gonna cut in my mouth because there is gonna be screaming. Oh god! Oh god, what what? What? <laughs> what? That's me! What huh? What? What? What the fuck? Am I am I dead? Is that what's happening? Am I dead? Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Which way, Callum? Oh, there's one that has the light on, isn't it? Oh god. What trail? The the main trail? Uh, Callum. Mommy is very scared. <laughs> yep, that one has the light on. <laughs> Don't make me do this, guys, please. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the thing and I'm gonna scream and cry. <laughs> ah. I always hated bumper cars. I'll just have it set here right now. Always hated it. Examine accident report. No, 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 that way. Hello. Employee's name Francis Duf. I have no idea what that says. Time and date: twenty fifth of October, nineteen seventy six. Stop title and departments. Labor is working on the crane. Supervisor lead person Richard Stapleton, witness Lawrence Creed and Michael Edgeworth. Brief description of the accident or incident. During the transport of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directly oh, who was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Oops. <laughs> Describe any injuries caused. Francis was killed. Did the injured em employee see a doctor? <laughs> yes. If yes, did you file an employer's portion of a worker's compensation form? Yes. Supervisor's comments. Dexter, the truck driver. C 
claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. What could have been done to prevent this accident? Double checking of the straps after transit should be mandatory and drug screenings for all drivers. I don't think Dexter did it! Have the unsafe conditions been corrected? No! Well, that's comforting. Photocopy. The local laborers are very superstitious and this hasn't helped. <laughs> uh, that's an additional comment. Some of them are refusing to return to work until we have someone from the local church walk the park and ex exercise <laughs> the bad spirits. I can't look away! I can't look away! What's happening? Oh shit! 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 Holy guacamole! Can I go there? Is, is that that there is something there? There's a way up. It highlighted a path! There is a reason for this! Why? What are you showing me, bumper car? I do not want to go! Do not want! Do not want! Look at me, sir. Hello, that's me. Look at me loudly proclaiming that I do not want and still doing the thing because I love you guys! <laughs> It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. No, you're not. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. Mm. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she just gets some help. Mm, help was helpful. a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. What? Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. What? Is that the f ferris wheel making that noise? Oh my god, this is so freaking creepy. I don't know if there's a lot of YouTubers that have a lot of experience with horror games that would probably be like jump scares and cheap tricks. But I'm like, <laughs> I've never done anything like this before and I'm very, very afraid. Also, it's very dark. It's very, very dark. I am utterly Mom, terrified. Mommy is coming, Callum. <laughs> where is he? I can't hear him. Don't be afraid. I'm afraid. I'm very afraid. Where are you, Callum? Her voice gets more panicky. She perfectly reflects how I feel. Panicked! Callum? Callum! Read page. Continually delayed by the incompetence of the builders. The problem is that they are locals and so they believe a lot of the rumors about that old man Henderson used to do here. They grew up on those tales. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. I would do that too! Of course, that is why I choose this. I chose the site over all the other potential Solomon Island. Oh, there's a full stop there. Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energies and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here makes my stin skin cr cram? Crawl? Crawl! I called in a few favors back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that Old Man Anderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. 
Perhaps something he wrote will help me find a piece of the plans that I'm missing. What was this person doing here? Don't make me go in there. No, you're not making me go in there. Thank you! Oh god, there's a light in there. Why? <laughs> I am so very, very, very afraid. And before I go into the Ferris wheel, which will probably have some scary things in it again, let me just see if there's anything else down the path or if that's the path I came from or I would have come from if I'd taken the bumper car or if I'd not taken the bumper car more like it where does it lead? where does it come from? where does it go? oh there is a derelict though oh that looks like bad luck That looks very unfortunate. Oh boy. Take roller coaster ticket. Do I wanna? Ah! <laughs> what the frickity frack? the way, didn't it? Oh. Calm down. Calm down, Lorraine. You're good. You're fine. Everything is fine. Alright. Let's do that shit. The music is doing crazy things. Very crazy things. Jeez, that's creepy. What? What is the sound doing? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it sounds like very, very creepy, creepy noises. <laughs> I don't want it, but I got it. Gotta do the thing. Oh, there's another way. <laughs> Gotta explore all the things. I'll probably have to slow it down again, don't I? So they are Sam? going to close this place down. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> State inspection report. Inspection date, September 22nd, 1980. Oh, so we're in the 80s. That explains the high-waist jeans that she's wearing. Um... Inspection results unsafe. Close the park. Inspectors comments after touring the park, riding the rides and viewing the startling number of incidents suffered here in the park. It is this inspector's opinion that Atlantic Island Park should be shut down until Nathaniel Winter complies with all safety regulations. While I understand that there is a sensitive polit political relationship between Mr. Winter and the senator, I nevertheless suggest that such political considerations be set aside in condemning Atlantic Island Park. The rides, at first glance, appear well constructed and maintained, but the sheer number of incidents in the park during the last few years and during construction lead me to believe that there is something wrong at the base level of construction and we should close the park and fully investigate these flaws. To wit, here is a partial list of the fatalities in the park since opening only two years ago. <laughs> Family of three killed when a roller coaster cart derailed. 14 separate incidents of broken bones and crushed ribs while riding the Octotron. <laughs> Three suicides from the top of the Ferris wheel. Awesome. A child seriously injured on the escalator. Over 
a dozen children reported missing in the House of Horrors since its construction. Should I have gone into the House of Horrors when we walked past it? But I saw the Callum running past it, so I'm assuming we'll circle back there. One report of a drowning in the Tunnel of Tales. Oh, that was the whatever rocked the swan boat. The sheer volume of incidents means that it is my strongest recommendation that Atlantic Island Park be closed immediately. Wait for it. Oh, nothing. No jump scare. Woohoo! <laughs> do not like do not like one more one more do 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 <sighs> take me for a ride chat Oh no, why are you sitting? Why are you going backwards? I don't even like going backwards on a train. Why are you doing this to me, Lorraine? No! 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 Please don't! Oh god, I'm so stressed! People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. It is beautiful. When we Look met, at it. I was sweeping the floor at Susie's <laughs> diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. Mm -hmm. He just ordered a coffee and sat there. There's gonna be something right there, isn't it? When my oh shift was god. over, he offered to walk me home. Oh god. Oh god. I don't know how to describe that walk. He talked and laughed and... Eventually, oh god, it's gonna be right there in the shadowy the bit, isn't it? Ah, I like so scared! <laughs> I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well... Yeah, someone's gonna be right there, I the just the feel it! Oh, no, no one's there. Yet. On the top of the Yet. I'm not gonna... The moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. How old were you? Oh god, I'm waiting for something terrible to happen. Something terrible's gonna happen, isn't it? The music is getting very creepy again. We're down. We're, are we down? Creepy guy! The creepy guy is back! Oh my god, it's creepy guy! Creepy guy! Who are you, creepy guy? What's your deal? What is your deal, creepy guy? I don't understand. What do you want from me, creepy guy? In all fairness, he's not as terrifying the second time you see him as he is the first time you see him. So, I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm good. Whew. Now... I came from that. Where does this lead? I think where I have to go is the Stay other way. He doesn't reply anymore. That upsets me a great deal. Oh, that's the way back to the Octotron. Let's see if there is anything interesting. <laughs> that looks like a newspaper print. But nothing that I can investigate. Sad. Okay. means we have to go the way that the thingy thing fell. Hmm. Where are you, Callum? He doesn't respond anymore. I'm very worried about that. 
Well, she is taking her sweet time, but that's just me. I'm sorry, Callum. If you died because I was taking my time, I take full responsibility. Okay, so we came from the Octotron and we went past the bumper cars and they just lead back to the roller coaster. Uh, but we also get to the roller coaster if we follow the, follow the Ferris wheel. And I'm really not sure if I should have gone into the House of Horrors in the beginning, and I didn't. I promise you guys, if I was supposed to go in there first, I will go back with a new kind of save and and show you guys that. But I have a feeling that this House of Horrors sounds very final, so I'm gonna assume that we can go back there. Plus, Callum ran past it. I saw that. Mommy is coming, Callum. Callum, I say. I'm still not entirely convinced it is actually Callum. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk. Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. <laughs> My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! <laughs> you give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. God. Wiping asses, mopping up piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. <laughs> I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. That does not sound like the woman she was outside and earlier. It seems she gets possessed and angry, and that does not sound right. There's something evil in this park. Stay where you are! Where is he? He used to respond all the time, but up until the bumper car. And after that, I haven't heard him since. It shall be said, here and now, that I have never in my life, ever, I am 28 years old, I have never in my life taken a roller coaster. Never. So... The first roller coaster that I'm going to take is one in a horror game. <laughs> How quaint! <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, the, the sound is really messing with me right now. Where did you go? It's really fucking me over right now. I'm... Please don't... Don't... Don't make weird noises to me. What is that sound? Honestly, what is that sound? gonna make me go in there, aren't you? Can I get to that house otherwise? No. No, I have to go in there. Awesome. Callum! Tell mommy where you are! Here goes nothing. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. <laughs> oh god, don't do it. Don't do it, woman. Mommy is coming, Kelm. Callum! 
I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna call it a, a day for this video because that's about all I can take. I regretted this decision tremendously the moment I clicked. Is he gonna be there? Is creepy guy gonna be there? Yes! Hello creepy guy! <laughs> what do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I that's insulting. You and your boy oh my are God. everything that this place doesn't Oh want. my god. The antithesis of what we stand for. What? Where is Callum? The poor yeah. child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me <laughs> Which has him now? Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. I knew that would be a just, terrible creepy witch. Just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. <laughs> oh my god, what? What? What is the story behind her and Callum? What? I will have to look back at this in my video because I could not read that. What? <coughs> what? Oh god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! This game is utterly, utterly terrifying me right now. The witch has him now? What witch? What? What witch? He's gone. He's always gone, of course he's gone. The witch has him now. I have to find the witch, uh, but I'm going to find the witch in the next episode. I'm going to leave you guys here, and I'm going to cool on my heart rate, and I'm going to go back to this video and read all the stuff that was written on those hospital doors, because that did that look very ominous. What is going on here? There is more happening than I completely comprehend right now. Let's see where this adventure takes us. If you enjoyed my screaming, or my trying not to scream, <laughs> then leave a comment and a like and I will see you in the next episode of The Park.